almost 2017. It's almost over. 2016 is almost over and I'm kind of excited. Even though this year has been fantastic, it's also been a little difficult and annoying sometimes. And I think with all the memes out there, I think everyone's kind of feeling the same way about 2016. But um, yeah, I'm just excited for a new year. I have so many things I want to do. I want to build this channel. I want to build Instagram. I, I just, I have so many ideas and so many things in store that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So I'm just going to dedicate this next year to really pushing and pursuing all of my goals and I hope you guys will do the same. So I just want to share things, not only beauty products, but accessories and all other random stuff that I loved this past year and some stuff that I recently got. So. If you want to see what my 2016 favorites are, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first we're going to start with beauty products because I think that's kind of how the order normally goes with this stuff. So, foundation. I have used, I think, two or three different foundations back and forth. But I decided to choose one from each category, and it was actually the one that I'm wearing today. And this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is super full coverage, pretty matte. Like, I would say, honestly, the best skin type for this foundation would be someone who has normal skin. So a normal combination. Not too oily, not too dry, somewhere in between. I tend to have an oily T-zone and then a little bit drier, but pretty normal on the out, like the outskirts of my face, so my forehead and then my um, cheeks and my chin. So um, yeah, I love this foundation. I think it is so flawless. It covers up any imperfections. I don't even have to conceal beforehand if I have any spots. And the applicator is pretty cool on this too. You guys have probably seen this, but it's a doe foot applicator. And I just do a couple of stripes and a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. But um, besides the coverage, it lasts all day. And I never have to touch it up. I never feel like I get oily throughout the day. And yeah, it's just... It's just really great. I love it. And Clinique is 100% fragrance free. So if you have really sensitive skin, this is definitely a brand to go for. They have some fantastic products and foundations as well. So yeah, if you're in, if you're looking for a full coverage foundation or something just that you want for a night out or for an event, definitely pick up this foundation. Mine is in 11 Honey. And this is for when I'm self tan. If I'm not self tan, I definitely cannot use this one. And next would be concealers. And if you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that my favorite concealer, I have not tried the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because I know that'll be my favorite, but um, my favorite concealer as of right now is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And I use this in 03 and 02. 03 is more of a salmon colored concealer, so it helps with any dark circles. And then 02 is very light and it helps just brighten up under the eyes. And then um, this is kind of, I mean, you can't really see it, but this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And I watched a bunch of videos and everyone was raving about this as well as their powder. And I decided to pick it up and I picked this one up in 20. So this is light, and I just love this concealer. It's pretty full coverage. I'd say it's medium to full coverage, and it's just so creamy, and I don't feel like it sets into lines at all, and this is not necessarily like a brightening color for me, but something I would either use as a spot treatment or under the eyes as well. So yeah, love this one. And then let me talk about bronzer. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure in every single one of my videos within the past year, I have used the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This stuff is amazing. It glides on, so it's just like creamy. It's like a creamy powder. So 
It blends really well. It has the perfect color. You can see right here, it's pretty neutral. And it smells like, some people say, like clients, if I use it on them, or like friends or family, they'll say that it smells like um, sunscreen lotion. But I think it smells like coconut or beachiness in general. It is awesome. It is about $13, I believe, and this has lasted me. I haven't even hit pan on that. Oh, wait, no. No, I don't think I've hit pan. So definitely go pick yourself up this. I got it at Walgreens, probably at CVS, Rite Aid, all of those. But that is definitely my favorite bronzer of the year 2016. So for powder, I started using this powder four months ago possibly less than that and it is the NYX no filter finishing powder and the reason I picked this up is because another girl that I know who's a makeup artist here in West Michigan she was saying that this is very comparable to the MAC mineralized skin finish so I of course was like a uh, duh dupe anything that's cheaper <laughs> that's what I'm all about so um, it definitely looks like it too it, it's got like a satin finish to it and it's very light, but I just feel like it gives your skin this like nice glow. There's no shimmer or glitter or anything in it, but it just sets everything very well. And yeah, it just it gives you kind of a glow while still mattifying any areas that are oily. So I really love that. And then again, another product that I think I used all year in 2016 is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this is in translucent. I love this. I absolutely love this powder. And again, it's something I saw all over Instagram, all over YouTube. So I went and picked it up. I think this was eight dollars, eight to ten dollars. I bought this off of Amazon. And the one thing I will say is the smell of it. It smells like, like your grandma's powder. <laughs> that makes sense. Like. It's got fragrance in it, but it doesn't irritate my skin. My skin's pretty sensitive, and it doesn't bother me. I think it bothered me the first couple of times. If you're super sensitive to smells, maybe you won't like that, but it's really not that big of a deal. But I was using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I just felt like it was so dry. Like, I could see it set in like if I baked under my eyes I could see it set in and um, I also used that one on clients and I just didn't like the look of it and I felt like there was it was so white too that I could see flashback from using it and I've had absolutely no problems with this and I really really love it so go pick yourself up one so I was going to choose one highlighter but that's kind of difficult and I have kind of a range of different pricing so the first highlighter this is the cheapest one I think this is maybe five dollars this is the Revolution Pro Illuminates in I don't know doesn't say so it's like this gold champagne color and I've heard mixed reviews about this from other people they're either in love with it or they don't like it at all I love it. I think it works so well. I think it gives you like just this beautiful bronzy glow and um, yeah, it'll last you forever. This thing's like the size of my palm, the palm of my hand. So definitely pick yourself up one of those. This I believe is only at Ulta. And then the second one would be the Smolder Cosmetics White Gold Pigment. And this is for the eyes or for the face or for the body, whatever. And this is just, I don't know if you can see it, it is gorgeous. So it looks white, but it comes off as literally the color white gold. It's really subtle, but beautiful, and it, your skin just is illuminated and glowy, and I feel like if you love makeup, or you're a girl in general, you love to be illuminated. So, yes, I love that one. And then the third one is an oldie but a goodie, and this is the MAC soft and gentle mineralize I can't even see I've had this for so long but um yeah mineralized skin finish from MAC and this is in soft and gentle it is again 
more of that champagne color which is great because I feel like I can use this on everyone especially brides this is the perfect highlighter that's not overly intense but gives you that glow and I'm not about I'm not really crazy about super highlighted skin but these are my favorites so then next I will talk about it's a cheek illuminator I guess um, this is kind of in the blush highlight category and this is the Super Shock Cheek. Super Shock Cheek from um, ColourPop. And this is in the color Might Be. And I'm not going to lie, I got this and I was like, seriously? Like, that color is going to, no, no, that's just not going to work. Because one thing is on their website, the colors look so different than they actually are in person. But anyways, this is so beautiful. It is the perfect thing to put over a, um, a blush. You can see it's super subtle, but it just adds that little like peak, pink sheen to your cheeks. And I really love it. So then my favorite blush for this year would be Warm Soul, the mineralized blush from MAC. And I am just obsessed with this. It is this pinky golden color. It's got shimmer to it but not chunks of glitter and it just makes your cheeks glow i feel like i can use this on almost everyone again i love to use this on brides because it just gives you that nice pink flush without being way too intense so this is fantastic and my phone's going off okay so now brow products the anastasia dip brow pomade in blend Duh, you guys probably knew that this was coming. Um, you can see I barely have any left, but this stuff is so awesome because not only is it the perfect color for my brows, but um, I feel like it gives you the ability to really shape them with you th using an angled eyebrow brush and it keeps the hairs in place because it has that pomade texture to it where it almost like gels your hairs into place. So. I love this. I think that if you have difficulty with shaping your brows and you feel like pencils are a little hard to use, definitely pick up the Dip Brow Pomade in whatever shade you are. Have them match it to your brows. But this stuff is awesome and so easy to use. And again, I've had this for so long, maybe two years, but I just think that 2016, I rediscovered it and um, definitely fell back in love with it. So for eyeshadows, I have a very big obsession with warm browns and pretty much all of my palettes include warm browns and oranges and golds and that's just what I love to use, not only on me but on clients. So the first one is the Morphe by Kathleen Lights palette. This is very dirty, I'm sorry, but <sighs> this is just everything to me. I have not broken into these colors over here, but this light, warm, orangey brown is perfect for the crease. And then to deepen it up, I grab these colors, a little bit of this black, and then these plum, like berry colors. And I just love the quality of Morphe palettes. I tell everyone, get yourself like a handful of these palettes. Not only if you are a makeup artist, but if you just love to play around with colors because these are such high quality pigments and they blend so beautifully and $23 for this which is my next one the Morphe 350 palette like what you can't get that anywhere else so you guys have all seen this I use it probably every single day and this is just everything to me these are my colors this is just perfect for anyone who's beginning in or starting off using eyeshadow or as a beginner these colors are just so beautiful and they're not too intense you're not using like greens or blues or anything so perfect everyday palette you can go from day to night with this clearly one's falling off there but both of these are my absolute favorite and then as far as individual eyeshadows go these are pigments, or like glitters, but how gorgeous are these? Oh my gosh, I saw these and I was like, yes, I need those in my life. 
So I have, they don't have like names to them, but they are the Glitties, Glitters, Glitties Cosmetics Glitters, and this one is like a white gold, this is a true silver, perfect for New Year's Eve, unless you're me, and then there is this gold color, and they just have so many flecks of different colors that bounce off of them, and I just feel like whenever I put these on someone or myself, you, your eyes just are intensified and stand out, and you can see I have the gold one on my eyelids today. And one more, or two more shadows that I love that are individual shadows are the Urban Decay Blunt, and this is, to me, like the perfect gold color. It's very light, and this I use all over my lid, I'd say probably two to three times a week. And it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's, I don't know, it, it's like more of a satin glitter, if that makes sense. Um, you can definitely see it when you put it on your eye. It's not matte, but it's not too intense. And then the other one is the Smolder Cosmetics again in sand. And this is just such a gorgeous color. It has pink and gold and white. And this on the lid for brides is just perfection. So definitely love this color. Whew. Okay. And then, of course, I couldn't pick just one pair of lashes. I had to talk about two. So these are the Christina Lashes in WSP, which stands for Wispy Lashes. I always get asked every single time I wear these or post a picture, what are those lashes? These. You need these. They come in packs of six, and I believe they're $10 on Amazon. And they are just the perfect, wispy, long, gorgeous lashes that will make your eyes stand out. So... Go pick these up and then I also got sent from House of Lashes, thank you so much House of Lashes, I got their individual lash sets and one of my favorites is the Le Petite Triple. And you can see I've used some of those but they come in different lengths and they're just so gorgeous. I could add two of these on the end and your eyes just stand out but individual lashes are great for again brides. Or an event and if you're looking to spend a little extra time putting on lashes but they look so natural and these just like glam up any look so love these and then one more or two more eye products um, this is just a sample but I'm definitely gonna pick up the bigger one once I am done with this one but this is the benefit roller lash hated this at first <laughs> not gonna lie because it has like that very plastic um, applicator to it. I'll show you. But it's curled. Um, but this works. And I do not buy mascara. I do buy like the cheapest mascara because I tend to wear lashes all the time. But this stuff, like my lashes curled and they were long. And I felt like I didn't even have to put lashes on when I wore that. So... That is a fantastic mascara. And then for liner, this is what I use every single day. Everyone always asks me what liquid liner I use. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. Great, great <laughs> liquid liner. It dries matte. It has a fantastic applicator. It's stiff, but not too stiff. You can get the perfect, really sharp wing with it. And it's three bucks, four bucks. I'm not going to lie, this stuff lasts forever though, so if you are looking for a good liquid liner that is matte, that helps you create that line without too much of a struggle, I guess, then definitely go pick yourself up this Wet n Wild one because I recommend this to absolutely everyone. And then for two lip products, I'm not going to delve into all of my favorite lip products because this video would be an hour. But um, I'm just going to talk about two liquid lipsticks. So the first one is the NYX Lip Lingerie. And this is in the color Bedtime Flirt. This is a perfect like pouty liquid lipstick. But this formula is fantastic. Everyone who I talk to who has used this loves it because it is satin. Not too matte. You don't feel like, what does Jaclyn Hill say? Like butthole lips? Like... You know when it gets so dry and you're just uncomfortable and you feel like it looks horrible? This is not going to give you that feeling. So if you're trying to get into liquid lipsticks, this would definitely be a brand to try. I absolutely love them. I'm sorry, my phone is going off. But 
this color is really pretty too. And then the other brand is, of course, Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks, and this is in the color Stripped. This is the perfect brownie, pinky, beigey nude, as weird as that sounds. This is so great, and what I normally do with this is I'll line my lips, maybe add another color, and then put this in the middle to really nude it out. And um, these are more drying, but I would not say that they're so uncomfortable that you can't wear them. So yeah, this whole line, you can literally find any color you possibly could want. And they are about $18, I think. Okay, so moving on to other random stuff. So if you guys have not seen lately on um, my Instagram, I have been working with this brand, Raw Apothecary, and they are based here in Michigan, which is so cool. And they have all organic, unrefined, natural um, beauty products or skincare products. And they make these body butters, I guess you could say, these body butters, and they have mango, shea, and cocoa butter as of right now. These are just to die for. Like, especially mango. I just love the smell of it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the one that's not open. Anyways, it smells really good. And um, it's just like this perfect, like, thick shea butter or body butter formula. And especially it being December, almost January, I my skin is super dry, especially in my elbows and my ankles and stuff like that. And this stuff will last you forever. But this is something that after I get out of the shower, I put this all over my body and I just, I feel like it moisturizes all day. Where some you put on, you put on body lotions and, you know, a couple hours later you're like, okay, that was pointless. This you will feel all day. So they have that one and then the other one I really love is the Shea Butter. And then also from them, this mud mask. I posted about this. I love this. I love mud masks. I love charcoal masks. I love masks in general. And this one exfoliates your skin. It helps with acne. It increases circulation, improves skin health, relieves aches and pains. So you can put this all over your body and treat skin conditions. You put this on for 10 to 15 minutes and it will dry up to literally the point where you can't move your face. But I, when I took it off, it like exfoliates the skin, and my skin just looked so much healthier. It was glowing, and I just felt like my makeup went on so much better when I used this. So this is something I'm definitely going to use at least twice a week, and it's just a great way to pamper yourself when you put on a mask. All right, and then another product that I recently received, thank you to Insta Natural, is this vitamin C moisturizer, and... I love this, not only because it doesn't irritate my skin, which some moisturizers do, but it smells so good and it is just the perfect daytime moisturizer. So this is what it looks like, really cute packaging, and then every girl's dream, a pump, so you don't have to like constantly open it and scoop it out, it's just dirty that way. So this stuff smells unbelievable. It is the perfect consistency, like I said, and I just feel like when I put makeup over it, it just glides on. And um, what did they say about this? This has vitamin C, niacinamide, hmm, I'm totally butchering that, hyaluronic acid and organic chamomile acid extract. So it's just awesome. I think everyone could use this, and it's so great to so just like throw this in your bag if you're traveling and I just love the packaging of it. Okay and then another random is Spectrum. It's from Spectrum. They sent me these anti-blue light glasses and they block up to 50% of blue light so it protects your eyes from your computer, from your phone, from the TV and these are so cool. I love the style or the Wayfair style. And it comes with this little cute packaging, just opens just like that. And this is what they look like. And they're so cute, right? Like, love this style. So I bring these to work. I use these when I'm editing. I use these when I'm on my phone. So anything I can do to just help prevent 
blue light, I guess. Anything that can help my eyes in the end, I'm so all about. So thank you so much, Spectrum, for sending these to me. I am absolutely in love with them. And yeah, I just, I think they're so cute. You can see there is like a yellow tint to it. So that kind of threw me off at first, but they're just perfect. They're like the cute little nerd sunglasses or glasses, reading glasses, whatever, but I love them. That was a lot of talking. Okay, so my last 2016 favorite is my Vega Protein. And if you guys didn't know, I'm a vegetarian. Eventually would love to be a vegan, but until they come out with cheese that tastes like cheese, that isn't dairy, that doesn't have dairy, that's vegan, blah, 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 whatever. If they come out with that, then I could totally be a vegan. But until then, <laughs> I will continue eating cheese. So anyways, this is the Vega plant-based protein and greens, and this is in the vanilla flavor. And this has 20 grams of protein, two servings of greens, and 110 calories. Gluten-free, no sugar added, and non-GMO. So this stuff is super clean. It tastes super good. Um, and so I love making my perfect protein smoothie, and I do a scoop of this, some ice, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a banana and then some cinnamon and a little bit of peanut butter you guys oh my god you have to try it a lot of people would be like oh that sounds gross like I don't know about that but then they tried it and they're addicted so this stuff is great and it's all plant-based so you should definitely pick yourself up some of this if you're looking for a cleaner protein powder well I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's Eve and I hope you are safe and have so much fun and I will see you guys again in 2017. I'm again so excited to see what happens this next year. And I hope you guys have some resolutions in mind and you keep pursuing your own goals as well. Love you so much. Thank you again for watching.